Hi everyone, this is Neil Reiterter, Consultant Audiologist and Director of Clearwax. Thank you for joining me in another demonstration video of our recently developed wax coat, which is due to be launched very shortly indeed. If you are interested, please email info at clearwax.co.uk to register your interest. We have here a patient who attended with bilateral, completely occluding and impacted earwax. They uh, are a hearing aid wearer and a few days ago they suddenly stopped hearing and their family members were very concerned. Um, and at one stage they were suspecting whether the patient had suffered from a stroke uh, because they were not able to, to hear or even communicate uh, back as a, as a result. Um, they attended the NHS um, where they've got the hearing aids who examined their ears and who advised the patient that, uh, and their family that they've got occluding wax and um, that is the root cause behind their sudden loss of hearing. So you can see we used the ear hook there um, to leverage out that extremely large piece of wax. If you watch till the end, you'll see a still image of that piece of wax and just how big it was. Uh, the eardrum was healthy and intact. Some scar tissue, there's some tympanous growth. Uh, the patient is in their 90s. So you would expect some scar tissue um, forming uh, on, the, on the eardrum at that age. Um, so we're using our 4.25 millimeter speculi to stretch and um, dilate, widen the ear canal. And this is the patient's right ear. And on this side, um, I managed to remove this just with microsuction. And I'm going to the floor of the ear canal. You can see those skin adhesions. We want to break those. So I'm lifting the wax plug up, ensuring the skin that's enveloped around the wax plug, but it's also attached to the floor of the ear canal. Uh, separates from the floor of the ear canal and then slowly but surely I'm going to wriggle this through. Um, and again, this right ear, similarly to the left, is a really large piece of wax that we extracted. Uh, we have got a smaller specular size, uh, 3.5 millimeter internal diameter and two larger ones uh, than the 4.25, which is what I'm using at the moment. That's a 5 mil and a 5.75. Just visualizing the eardrum there, getting it in focus. And as you can see with the wax scope, we can use all ENT micro instruments. Um, we are also launching our own clear wax range of instruments, which will make, which be more compatible, I would say, with using the wax scope. But it can also be used with any other mode of visualization if you're already using a microscope or an endoscope, for example. So just re-entering the ear, having a good nosy around there. Uh, and they're the wax plugs that I extracted from both ears. The larger one at the two is from the left side. You can see some parts are really dark. It's oxidized. It's been there for a while. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. And if you are interested in the wax scope, as I mentioned, please email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you. Bye.